What is going on guys? Brave here. Today we got some more details about how the legendary campaign missions will work in Destiny 2 once the Witch Queen is released. Uh, this was in This Week in Bungie. If you have not read it, it was a pretty good read this week. I will link it down in the description below. They talked about a lot of different things, but the thing I want to talk about today, like I said, was those uh, leg how the legendary campaign is going to work, what kind of rewards you're going to get, and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. First of all, they said some Guardians had been asking for more challenging kind of things when it came to doing you know, just the story quest. It says, besides just reward drops on how it will differ from the base level, they want to go in a bit more detail about exactly what you can expect with legendary difficulty. It says, you will get double chess rewards, of course, offering one to three extra chess per mission if you play it on legendary. Each chess will give you world pool gear, XP, upgrade modules, and glimmer. Legendary players will also be able to earn throne world armor that unlocks at a faster rate. And it says basically the higher the risk means higher the reward, especially when getting to the new power level soft cap in the Witch Queen. It says, are there any unique rewards for completing the entire story on legendary difficulty? And of course they said yes. So if you play all of the uh, you know, entire story on legendary difficulty, you can get an emblem, which is kind of exclusive to you completing that legendary story difficulty. Also a triumph, uh, for of course required for the newest title of the throne world. A set of gear 20 above the soft cap at 1520, which is pretty nice. Also, eight upgrade modules, the new Witch Queen exotic armor that is typically reserved for PED Law Sector drops. Also, exclusive bungee rewards. They said those, they will be talking about those more in the future. So, it looks like you're going to get a pretty good bit of stuff for playing the uh, campaign itself on Legendary. It says some players have been asking if this is a, uh, is it a difficulty to kind of be feared. How challenging is it going to be? It says to set the difficulty expectations, the legendary campaign is designed to be harder than a legend nightfall. So if you farm, you know, nightfalls on legend during the week to, you know, farm golf balls and things of that nature, you kind of have an idea of how difficult that is. Now, it's kind of hard in my opinion to still judge that because some nightfalls are harder than others, but they're just saying it's going to be designed to be harder than a legend nightfall, but easier than a solo dungeon or running a grandmaster nightfall. So it's not going to be the hardest thing in the game but it's not going to be the easiest either also enemies are more difficult and more aggressive they also have higher damage resistance more of a challenge to stagger shields are stronger to unmatched damage type so pretty much like you would experience in a legend uh, nightfall also the challenge of legendary also comes from switching up in enemy interactions and infiltration like swapping out an elite for a boss or having an influx of more red bar foes it says each mission uh, capture power uh, so that all guardians have a even playing field to avoid feelings like you know certain steps in the grind the mission launch screen will have a skull displaying each mission's max effective power if you're under level it says be prepared for a bit of a tough fight also it says they have a lot of you know aspiration for content in the past but legendary gives them a chance to give solo players more equal footing with those to opt into playing with a fire team enemy damage and health scales to match your fire team so it won't be Though it won't be one-to-one -one because triple the boss health isn't fun, even still it will have enough to keep even a veteran trio uh, on their kind of toes. So it seems like if you're going to play it solo, it's not going to be quite as difficult maybe if you were playing with three. It is at least going to scale, so it's not easier if you're playing with three compared to, compared to by yourself. It looks like it's going to be pretty interesting. Uh, it's a pretty interesting thing, I think, uh, the legendary kind of you know idea with the story itself they did say if it was too hard you actually can go back out and of course change the difficulty of the mission you know from the start menu or you know from the mission menu there but leave me a comment and let me know are you going to be playing the new witch queen uh story on legendary or are you going to stick kind of with this the you know base normal version i think i'm definitely going to hop in with some friends and try it out on legendary because the rewards seem well worth it anyway guys leave me a comment with your thoughts and of course if you liked it hit the like if you hadn't subscribed yet please do so and i'll catch you next time Peace.